Today's lecture will discuss the medical ethics of advanced directives. Now, advanced directives are directions given by a patient in the expectations of a medical procedure. Now, we have a few different types of advanced directives here. Here, we have the oral advanced directive, in which a patient's prior statements are the main guide on decisions regarding medical procedures. So typically, family members as well as friends would be asked by physicians as to what a patient's intentions are. And the problem that can arise from an oral advance directive is there can be a variation in responses from the family members and friends. So normally a group of composite responses are given and the most common answer is the route which is taken. Then we have the living will or the written advance directive. And these are wishes of the patient to receive or forego treatment if they lose the decision-making ability. Now, finally, we have the medical power of attorney. And this is when a patient appoints a representative to make medical choices if there is a loss in decision-making capacity of the patient. And the star here for this being more flexible than a living will because even if a patient has lost the decision-making capacity, then the patient still has the autonomy to change their mind to either decide to go with or forego a particular procedure, whereas the living will in a situation such as if a patient is in a vegetative state, then the living will is the final say and do for that patient's decisions. And these are the basics of advanced directives in medical ethics.